Hey guys, welcome back to Trek Yards. He's Commander Cocky. He's got a Foley. And we're talking about Discovery Season 5, Episode 6. And this one is called Let the Rain Whistle Speak. Oh. Both well. Well, I saw the title and I saw like a description of it on IMDB. And I'm like, oh no, this is a filler episode. But I don't know. What do you think of it? We're gonna listen oh, to you first this good. time. That's that's rare. Well, you know, it can't be a filler episode if it's just a, a step on the journey. Is it an interesting step? I'm not sure. Uh, my my, It's funny, while I was watching it, I thought to myself, if this was a season one episode, I'd say well done. Because it was Star Trek in vibe. You, if you'd started from scratch, with a, they could be really great character development for who Burnham is, who Tilly is, how they morally do things, the bridge crew. That would be really good, I think, for season one. For a season five episode that's over halfway, um, it's boring. Um, it doesn't make, you know, it focuses so much on Michael and, and Tilly that I'm left wondering, well, again, where the rest of the crew is, you know, give them more the last few episodes. Um, the plot is Star trek and and fine, although at the end I wished we'd seen the fifth tower and done something meaningful there because they just cut away from it. And, like, that was the big... That was the only thing I thought to myself, ooh, what are we going to do there? Are we going to see... Maybe it could be a message from the, the Denobulan, do some makeup, see him in uniform, you know, something else to add to the story. Oh, no, cut back to the the room. Um, Booker's there. He's always great, but he's just there. And Colbert is... Uh, it feels like they had a contract to give him dialogue. Like, it's an okay plot line, but I don't really care that much, and given that we're down to the last four now, last five, I have no interest in seeing this further. I'm sorry. Um, you've wasted years with him. Um, so it's it's below average... But not because it's bad, just because it's below average. That's where I come from. What do you think, Stuart? Yeah, I think it's below average for this season's Discovery. But it's a very typical Star Trek episode. Like, I could definitely see this in TOS. Kirk goes and fixes the machine. McCoy sucks it up and, you know, t continues the race. I can, I, it's, it's got that TOS-ness all over it. And the Prime Directive thing, are, are there going to be no repercussions from that? Like, we don't hear anything about it. I mean, we might the next episode. It's like, we're sending you on the next... You just broke the... It's fine. Because <laughs> they've been on the ship for a while, so I, I, she would have filed a report and stuff. Um, and the Culber stuff, uh, the spirituality, could go somewhere really good. Um, especially if it uh, ties into the... the my theory with the mycelial network being the, the way the progenitors, like dispersed things throughout the galaxy. So it's a Stamets and Culber thing at the end where one of them has to sacrifice themselves or, or both. I can see Culber kind of on that path right now. And speaking of sacrificing yourself, I, I, I thought from the beginning, the winner of this race is going to be sacrificed. And sure enough, that's exactly what was, was, was the thing. Um, it just, it felt, it felt typical for that kind of uh, an event and that kind of a, uh, culture, you know, so just to jump on that. See, as I thought what was going to happen is because we, we hadn't seen the last few, is that they're going to get in uh, a hologram of the Denobulan was going to appear, reveal the truth, and force the person to agree to keep the planet in this low state of tech so that the tech would work and make it sort of a dark twist. And like, I mean, do you want to live? Because you'd see a full Denobulan and be like a lovely little, like, ooh, and like go instantly bold. Um, that's that's what I thought going in. Yeah, so it's just kind of all right, in my opinion. Uh, I wish they would have explored more at the end. Like, like you said, I wish it was seen the Fifth Tower. It's the same uh, goddamn have, set. Have it, have it be the exact same shape but from the outside, too. It's funny, because that rock, the shape of that rock is... It's in Helldivers. That's the rock you look for to get the super samples. The super samples are at the base of that rock. Or the Nick <laughs> model. <laughs> um, so I would have loved to have seen like the different ones over the planet with different like foliage on them or none at all. Mm -hmm. um, but the same shape would have been interesting. And, and they um, didn't even address if they're going to reactivate the other four. Yes, I was hoping they would do that as well. That's that was a where huge I was going plot point, and they yeah. just ignored it after a certain point. Yeah. We'll teach you how to keep this one going, but yeah. I mean, and they explicitly the said ones. they just got to tweak a few things. They're all fully functional, just tweak some tech and boom, done. Like, that easy. I, 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 it's, just, just, it's like last week, the warp pod... Um, and them escaping and then being seconds away and not capturing them. And then, we've just found them. So I felt like another little, like, oh, we've almost forgot about that as a plot point. There's not a whole lot to talk about with this one. No, it, it's both surface level, but 
simple. So you can appreciate it for what it is, but as, as I'll, I'm sure I'll say in our full review, it, you know, I often compare these things to cakes now with cherries on top, etc. This to me feels like a store-bought vanilla sponge with no icing, no cherry, no chocolate sauce. It's a fine tasting cake, but it'll leave no impression um, and it's it's serviceable, but it's very store-bought. Keeps you alive, that's all it does. You don't no, it, it. It's tasty enough the first time, <laughs> but you wouldn't go back for a second cake because it's not that good. Like, there's nothing here for me personally that I'll take back from this. Nothing. There was literally no cherries on top, no specific... I mean, the simple win they could have had would be the Denoblin console have been full TNGL cars. If that had just been a full recreation verbatim of a TNG L cars with even like a Magell voice cameo from the sound library, like that would have been a cherry on top, you know, to 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 recognize that. Instead, it was just lights. I know it's Denoblin tech, but it would have been would have been Denoblin Federation tech percept conceptually. You know, li little things like that they could have done that would have been addition. I did enjoy the Colber and Book scenes, and even the Colber and Stamet scenes. I thought were they were very well um, performed. Uh, I don't know where that's going necessarily, but I, I do appreciate that they kind of added more to those characters, like the relationships. Um, but yeah. Uh, it's just so late to care, like properly yeah. care, you know? Yeah. And the scene with his grandmother, again, was interesting, but just kind of eh. Well, I don't so. believe for a second that no one in the intervening 800 years ever thought to make an interactive hologram Never program. Be. For therapy, I don't yeah. believe that for any seconds. I mean, you could basically do that in Voyager. And there was nothing, there was not one thing about that that made it special except it knew him, but that's a personal file thing. So that was a that was a non scene that didn't make sense. I mean, he might not know about it, but he would have researched it. So that was wrong just as a scene. Yeah, another stand up for me in this one was Rainier, even though he had such a small part, but the way he was kind of talking uh, to, yeah. to um, Adira and like, you got this kind of like. Yeah, I, I, just, I just I thought he did a very good job and he's definitely evolving as a character. So I appreciate that as well. Yeah, everything felt natural evolution, which was good. Um, although, as as someone pointed out on our live, Adira being a trill plays zero part, having h hundreds of years worth of memories, still the same youth feel. There's no, there's no depth there gained from that. Um, and they, they call him out as Ensental, so that's a thing. But they're just so a one note you know just be youthful tilly season one but not again okay that's the other thing i'm glad they did as well burnham didn't soldier on and finish the race and get inside she let tilly do that and she went and did the other thing where i think season one it totally would have been like <laughs> to send tilly to do the thing and i don't know that i don't know that much about tech you can do it i gotta do this race I could just see her taking that vibe in season one. So again, I'm glad her character is progressing, and it's, her character is so much better this season compared to other, the first season. Um, she's just in it too much. That's what, again why I thought this week she's just in what 32 of the 50 minutes of screen time. Are her talking at the beginning? I'll go down to the planet with Tilly. It's like really, and Rainier's just like, yep. <laughs> it's like okay. Just You've got a crew, you've got medical officers, security officers, science officers, engineering officers, xenobiologists, you handpick this crew. It just it's it less believable every week. And she's a fine actress, but give her a third as much to do. Give give the screen time could be used for so many other reasons. You know, why don't you bring down the new bridge crew to help with Tilly and do some cute stuff and give them stuff with the, the older lady? That would be nice, and burn them to lead them. You know, it, it's 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 con constantly wasted potential, and you know some people are saying TOS Kirk always goes down with a landing party to utilize all their skills. So it's not remotely the same. It's never Kirk and Spock only. Every Science single officer, doctor, and security generally. Even if security die for reasons and or, or, or you know <laughs> or, or guest of the episode, fine. But it's never just him and the yeah. Spock every week for every single problem. It is never that. It would never be that. It makes no sense. Um, it's not hugely obnoxious. Again, we're at the end, we're now at the. It feels the end of the road because we've kind of the pace has slowed so much now by episode six. Not necessarily a horrible way, but like the the momentum's gone. I think it's just another episode. Yeah, I don't see them going to a big episode. Like, I don't know if they can ramp back up. It feels like it might just end on a, a gentle note, which is okay. But they've not continued the pace of episode one and two. I think, which is a shame. Yeah, I, I think it will pick up at least for one episode. It'll be like bombastic mm. and then mm. the other thing that stuck out to me is just the coincidence of timing like you just happen to go at the same time that this 
this race is going to happen um, um yeah. which is just it's just a conceit right um you couldn't go any of the other time of the year when you could just kind of investigate the thing and maybe get in and <laughs> you know what i mean like it just it seemed odd I didn't. I didn't. I don't. I don't remember it enough. You know, I just watched it. Just to, like it, I didn't. Him ever say once every five years we bring people. I just thought they said we'll do it, and then they said who else wants to do it? Okay, we'll all do it. You know. And who would volunteer for that? I mean, I'd volunteer for it to look brave, get all the way almost to the end, and then have a drink of water. I'm just sorry. I'm, I couldn't make it. I tried. I was willing. <laughs> yeah, they're very gracious. Those gracious. Those that didn't continue. I did think the bits in the room at the end were reasonably atmospheric, which is good. But that's just because the the guest lady's daughter was pretty good. Like I bought the naivety and I bought the dad. I thought they were good guest stars, mm-hmm. um, which is good. Uh, but Tilly felt a bit out of her element. And again, she's meant to be the academy. She left le- left last season. That was a big deal. She didn't leave last season. I guess they decided to not do that because she's not left. She's fully... She's here more than last season, I think. It feels like, anyway. Oh, absolutely, yes. It's very strange. Um, it's, like, it's like if Tasha left and then came back next season. Or died, died. Sela, look. Sela's back for every episode. Like, what? Yes, she's out every... And Tasha's get... back from the Black Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's still a koala. The koala said you're back. Yeah, and obviously for us as track yards, there's not a single thing to talk about. No ships, no tech, no uniforms, no costumes, no new advancements. Yeah, no comparison stuff we could do. And imagine if there'd been flashbacks every week to the scientists and, and we got to learn who they were as people and this was focused on the Denobulan guy and he was in full DS9 costume and, and he got a Brent Spiner cameo talking from the Enterprise on, on DS9 digital set and we and we heard him say, oh... I'm going back to a native land on my planet set up 400 years ago, you know, 100 years ago, and, and, and someday it'll fail. But hopefully, the, like, you could really deepen every episode with a nice preamble. Yeah, and that that feels very fan filmy or fan fiction y. But wouldn't you love it as a fan if it was done well? Yes, if it was done well. Uh, but at the same time, it feels like very unnecessary. <laughs> well, um, I, I, see, I see why you're saying it, but I don't know. This episode's so flat, though. That would help give an overarching arc. Of the scientists and a meaning behind them and, and depth. Yeah, yeah. If they had done it the entire season, that's what like, I mean. Yeah, and because piece that together as its own little thing in the TNG era, that would be cool. Because because that's why I liked. They said each clue is a is a person, which would super have allowed them to make each scene about a person. Then that evolves, and then they develop, and then you know it would have been then great to see last week the mirror lady at the end of her episode, walk onto the mirror sets in TNG costume. That would have been very satisfying to her walk on the bridge in full greys and say, and, you know, like, you, you could really do something with that that would make every other episode, because my, my obviously, guess would be that at the end they'd all return in some ghost way, and there'd be, a, there'd be a reason for them, right? It'd be more than just those flashbacks, but that'd make it a bigger season, probably. That's why I hadn't played that. But yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it was just, it was a, it was a fine episode of Star Trek. It's a good Star Trek premise. But yeah, it had TOS vibes all over it for me the entire time I'm watching. I'm just like replacing Burnham with Kirk and Tilly with McCoy, and you could have had the same story. And so. did nothing special. No, not bad, but very average. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen the fifth tower, see them actually find the puzzle piece, and again maybe something else in that fifth to- tower, like a message of some kind. But comment down below what you thought about this episode, guys. Uh, what are your thoughts, feelings? Put, describe them for us. <laughs> also, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification icon to all and hit like. We'd really appreciate that. And if you can support what we do here every single week and after Discovery and before, literally before and after Discovery, here we are, track yards. Then, Patreon is a monthly scheme or join the channel is a monthly scheme. Uh, each, I mean, every dollar really does allow us to do what we do here and keep doing it. Went a bit um, shatter there. Or one time helps via PayPal. Truckyards at hotmail.com is the account name. Or uh, here via the, the super thanks button or super chat on any live. We do game shows and reviews and such. Uh, they're just fun. And you're always at the heart of them. So if you can support those, please do. That's right. So until next time, he is Commander Cockings. He's kind of friendly. Make it rain. Ooh. Bye, guys.